On this episode, we anchor up for a few nights in this quaint bay of Anste Arle, then head south to tuck away in Le Marin before the tropical winds and rain head right towards us. On the first morning there, we had a surprise wake-up call when we heard the activities of a traditional Martinique festival. We later found out what was going on in the history of the boat race happening around us. But in the meantime, we enjoyed the fun and rooted on the competitors. Created several centuries ago by fishermen in the Caribbean, these unique boats are called yoles, and they have a team of 20 or so aboard all frantically working their duties to make the yole go as fast as it can without tipping over. Whether it's bailing water, handling the giant square sail, or perching themselves on their oars off the hull to balance the boat out, there is plenty of action going on board these traditional crafts. In the 1950s and 60s, Martinique saw the induction of the outboard motor. Luckily, a group here on the island wanted to preserve this amazing part of their island's history and so started the Yol Race Tour around Martinique. Since 1966, competitors from the bigger towns on the islands, as well as teams from neighboring islands, gather every year decked out in their village's colors and names of their sponsors to keep this exciting tradition alive and strong. in pretty good. Look at that. Lay Marin up ahead where we're gonna wait out the storm. That's gonna hit in a couple days. Jane's in here. She is about to switch the, uh, oh no, not that. Don't touch you that button. You didn't tell me. Never ever you. touch that button. Wait. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to switch back from, um, turning off, having the solar panels off to turning them back on since we just took the, uh, the wind generator generator out of commission. So Miss Jaden, we're going to go right in there. Yeah. So here we can see. The top is the wind generator is producing zero amps because I just tied it up and the bottom is a solar. It's producing zero amps because it's off. There's a switch. You can do it. Now you do it. Just. Uh, oh yeah. Just switch that switch and we'll start cranking out the amps again with the solar panels. Yeah. Click. All right. Let's go down here and yep. 
See that bottom now? 26 amps. Those things cook. All right, so now we're just on solar until the storm passes through. It should be around eight o'clock tonight. The dinghy, we didn't put it up. We forgot the dinghy. Okay, here you go. <laughs> well, thank you for watching this last episode um, on Martinique. And if you watched the first one on Martinique also, which was definitely a winner, St. Pierre was an awesome place to visit. A lot of history there. If you haven't watched it, check it out. A lot of time in Martinique and, and the biggest part about that was because of that storm that came through, which ended up not being that bad. It was just a lot of rain and some wind, probably got some like 45 knot gusts maybe mixed in there, but it wasn't as big as we thought it would be. Um, always good to be prepared though in those situations uh, when you're on a sailboat, when you're on these islands out here away from you know bigger places like the United States and we're safe. So it's always good to be prepared. Now we are in St. Lucia, which we were excited to come see. Um, so you guys will have to stay tuned next Monday for our journey. We woke up at like 4 or 5 in the morning to head over here. You guys don't have to wake up that early to watch it. It's been super fun so far. Yeah, we just looked for a weather window because there's some pretty rough seas out there. And we had it on Tuesday morning. We left 4.30 in the morning. Came across, watched the sunrise. St. Lucia was there, welcoming. We had a great, great welcoming, right? When we yeah. got here. <laughs> we'll okay. definitely be putting that in the uh, the next feature. You guys will see. For sure. Good. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Should I keep the stash or not? Oh yeah. It's hot in here too. The stash is hot. Subscribe if you love the stash. And if you don't love the sash, just give us a like. Subscribe anyway. <laughs> yeah. All it right. won't always be here. <laughs>